I'm Stu Mason. In this video, we're going to get Bolt.diy running on my Coolify server. Let's get straight in. To give a little bit of overview, Bolt.new is a way of building apps using AI. It uses StackBlitz's uh, IDE, which is just like an online JavaScript IDE. It's going to make a to-do app with React and Tailwind. I mean, it's pretty mind-blowing. So that's up and running. Cool. That's what Bolt is. Now, there's in StackBlitz lab, there's Bolt.diy, which is an open source version of um, bolt.new so we can get this running and then use our own uh, api tokens to actually do this i've got coolify up and running and i'm going to show you how to do it so mate it's insanely easy i'm going to go to projects i'm going to add a project it's bolt.diy make apps every day let's create that and then it's created a production environment. In the production environment, I'm going to add a Docker Compose, an empty Docker Compose. So if I go into Cursor, so what I've done is pulled down the whole Bolt.diy repo. And in that repo, there's a Docker file and there's a Docker Compose. If I grab these two and compare these, you'll see there's some real difference here. So what I've also, I've checked out, this is version 006. So this is the latest version. If I go in Stackblitz Lab, the latest version is 006. So like, this is three weeks old as of today. So if I just get out of that comparison and I go to the Coolify, I'm gonna just grab that whole thing. I'll put this into a gist or something so you can copy and paste it. But I'll grab this whole thing, which is a combination, again, of the Docker Compose and the Docker file for um, 006. I'm gonna save that. Uh, and then if we go into settings as well that we can see in here, it's picked up the name. So I put that name here. So it's this is how Coolify likes it. It's bolt.diy, baby. Let's put that in there. And it's bolt.stuartmason.co.uk. So that's all set. That's fine. Let's save that. Let's go back into general. I mean, let's just click deploy and see what happens. Okay, that's done. Let's go to bolt.stuartmason.co.uk. Let's go for mini because I'm cheap. That's not very modern, is it? This isn't very modern. Check out, it's multimodal. I mean, that is hot, right? Oh, it can't do it. It can't do it. What was if I said 4 roll then? What was if I bring the big dog in? Okay, one last try. Please make it look modern. Tailwind styles don't seem to be working. Wheel in the big dog. Come on, 4 0. <sighs> Thanks, big dog. There you go. Uh, so it was the model. If I bring in 4 it can do what I need. And then let's go into my service. Just getting 200s out of the wazoo here. That's up and running. Like think of the things that you could do with this now. Like I could have this. I've got my bolt. I can then have some sort of automation around. So I could push that to GitHub. Look, bolt generated. If I then listen on NAN for this like prefix of bolt, like look for an event that's prefixed with bolt. When that comes in, then you could have Coolify, you could start hitting the Coolify endpoints and say, okay, here's a new app. Let's uh, set up the DNS. Let's run it. Let's create, I know that it's going to be React and know what it's going to be. Let's create that static site for us. So you can go straight in. You could have it, you could have the whole ecosystem just automated behind you. Mate, this is brilliant. This is exciting. 